Hey all, welcome to another day of Downey Fly Time video production on this wet and windy day in Scotland. It's absolutely freezing here. Uh, here I'll be sharing all my favourite flies and methods of tying them to make catching fish better for the anglers around the world and also making tying these flies easier with my styles and techniques. All the flies I tie I personally use and they catch fish all over. Uh, at the end of each video I'll have a wee list of materials required to tie a fly just in case you missed it on the video and a link to my online shop where you can purchase the flies and materials required to make these killer patterns. I hope you enjoy this video and you will pass on the word about my channel and subscribe and get your fellow anglers and pals and club members to also subscribe. Uh, more subscribers the more I can do. Today I'm going to be tying you a belter of a fly. It's the double decker. I'm going to do a squirrel version of it though, uh, so it's not the original one. The original one I'll do a different video, but obviously I'm now doing high definition videos, so I'm redoing the, the double decker. So, in the vise, I've got a cheeky wee fooling mill. It's a heavyweight champ, size 12, bronze. We're going to be using some burnt orange wisp 14 0 thread. That's going to be the thread we're going to use. We're going to be needing some, here we go again, some squirrel. So we either use squirrel or we use hairs here, your call. And last but not least, some deer hair. That's just normal deer hair, raw deer hair. Obviously, you can use, when you get down to smaller sizes, you would use coastal because uh, it's finer. But that's just the normal stuff. And also, cock de leon, we're going to use as well. Alright, so. I'm going to start the thread. This fly, I used that a long time ago. It's actually the original one's a Neil Sinkler fly. Uh, Neil's a, a river angler in Scotland. He's very, very, likes to get everything nice and precise, etc. He's a fantastic angler, fantastic gentleman. Uh, they tied this fly to ride the big poply water on the River Tummel in Scotland, so anybody that's ever fished or ever tumble will know what I'm talking about. But this fly was to, designed to lift up those big fish when, when they weren't interested in moving. So, it says before, you know, give them a big fly, and they'll probably pop up and eat it. So the original one's a wee bit different. This was what I tied, uh, and I was out on the Lake of Teeth one day, well one evening, fishing a competition with Andy Mackay, uh, from my club and there was sedges just while I'm talking away there I should really tell you what I'm doing I've tied the tail in so what I'm now doing is making a loop of thread and then I'm going to make a double loop so I've now got two loops of thread so all I'm doing is winding over the top of them so I've got two loops that's going to be the rib of the fly then we'll go forward so back to my story anyway so the fish were rising like mad to sedges and I couldn't find an Invicta, I couldn't find anything in my fly box that resembled a sedge and I came across this double decker, put it on and let's just say caught an awful lot of fish with it, an awful lot of fish. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop off a bit of deer hair, decent sized clump. Now you can see I've got it there in my fingers, I'm transferring it to my right hand then I'm going to turn it around. And the thing about this is never let go of the deer hair. Don't use a hair stacker. Hair stacker makes it too neat. So we line it up nice loose, then catch it in with quite a few turns of thread. Still holding it, chop that bit off. Right, that'll come up itself. Look, see, no bother. You know, you don't have to really put thread in front of it or anything. So we're going to stack another one in there. It's just past that little lump that we've got in there. I'm going to put another bunch of deer here. Alright, so same again. No hair stacker. Line it up. Nice loose loop over and catch it and pull it and it'll flay it, free out itself. Same again, don't let go. And just put the excess in the bin and just trim off anything that's went underneath. Alright, so we'll sort that wing out later. 
the wing's always a bit of a mess at the start, so what we're now doing is we're going to tidy up all of this stuff. And now, don't worry about how the fly's looking just now, it'll be fine when it's finished. So, a wee bit of wax, get it on that thread, give it a good rub. Some squirrel or fox, fox squirrel or hare's ear mask or whatever. And just dub it onto the thread nicely. Okay. Then all we're going to do, same again, pushing it down with index finger, push, get it nice and tight. There we go. Right. So that's us taking it up to behind the first wing. So all we do is twist the thread now. Two, three, four. You can get away with four, possibly five on a size 12. Obviously five on a 10. Now this fly can be used for just fished on its own, but I like to fish it on a midge tip so it's actually goes under the surface as well. And sometimes you pull it away from the fish, they just chase after it. It's almost like the reaction's unbelievable at times. Uh, guys will use it for hanging their buzzers as well. So we put some more dubbing on there. So I'm going to put a bit behind the wing, then I'm going to pull the wings up. Remember these are two wings, so I need to split them. I just pull them apart and stick a bit of dubbing in the middle. Right, and then just use your thumb to push that wing back and just tie it off. So, finishing the fly off just at the head. Same again, one more finish. And then on the second one, we want to put a bit of varnish on there. Alright. in the loop as per and just pull it in tight and give it a wee rub that's it job done double decker these are actually for a customer these ones I'm tying just now and you can see the shape of the two wings that's why it's called double deer, because it's a double deer hair stacked wing. And honestly, that thing sits up, and as I say, when I fish it on a midge tip, I like to figure eight it. So I'll have a couple of other flies behind it, and I'll just figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, figure eight, and the fish just come up and munch it. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to follow me on Facebook, it's David C. Downey, just send me a friend's request. You can follow me on Instagram, Dave Downey Fly Fishing. Check out the website www.fly-fishingworld.com uh, or www.davedowneyflyfishing. Uh, thanks for watching another Dave Downey fly tying video production and have a great day. And enjoy tying the fly, show me some pictures of you catching fish on it and have some great days fishing ahead in 2020. Bye.